for Dabs. Welcome to my blog. Yay! It's baby shower time. Ayan. Ating i-witness ang ating mga buntis na malapit na silang mga nap. Ating simulan sa baby shower first, mga kardab. So, ayan, enjoy watching my video. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe my video. So, nag-aayos kami ng, sa baby shower. Hindi, o, oh, sige, mag-sample ka muna. Hi! Ito. Uy, nahirapan kami dito. Ang ganda, diba? Tulo kay dito. <laughs> we're, we are ano, uh, preparing or what we call that decorating the baby shower. Ang aming ang aming Ayan ang tagawa. Oy, assistant. Ay mga assistant. Ayun, ano ba? With the president Karen Karen Magnay our president president of decorating the beautiful baby shower if party. you need ano if you need wedding decoration birthday decoration <laughs> and then baby shower decoration <laughs> just for karen karen how do you karen. pronounce that? Ay, karen na nga lang oi karen na here pa pa karen tawag sa inyo karen na karen na ngayon pangalan niyan karen na lang bitaw oh oh malaki maraming bitita Okay, Ryan. Ay, na po. Wag na. Kasya na yan.
what God is telling us, but you could have to love and respect your wife. Okay? No. Well and well. Father soon. And there is no reason why you should not respect your parents and also your in-laws. So love is the most of it. Love every minute that God has given you. It is painful from the beginning. But one of, once the baby is out, there is joy. So God bless everyone in this loving world mother's room. Proxy, proxy. Naging mami ako ngayon, o di ba? Naging buntis ako kanina. Ayaw naging nanaw ako. O lahat na experience ko na. Kala mo, lalaki yung anak ko din kanina. Babae pala. As older than you, as your mother here in New Zealand, I wish you really good health and a safe delivery in your delivery time. And I know how pain it is, even though I did not undergo into, into pregnancy, but I've seen it. And so I wish you all really the best and hope Jeff will always be at your side from the start until the, begin, until the end of your delivery. And I will quote as Ate Concita is saying, I will quote you a, a verse also from the from the Bible regarding pregnancy. Nasaan ang Bible ko na wala? 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, 
and the peace of God which transcends an understanding will give God your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. So don't be afraid. We will be here all the way to you and our prayers will be with you all. We love you, Laura. We love you all. Thank you. Thank you. And of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. How blessed, happy, and fortunate is the man whose favor is filled with them. Laura, na ask mo ba si Lord, Lord, ano intention mo? Bakit mo ako binigyan ng anak? Did you ask the Lord about it? No. The Lord's intention, sabi niya, you are not the owner of a child. Sabi doon sa verse 3, Behold, look, the children is a gift. Minsan kasi may mag-asawa, nagsiping, nag-intercourse, pero hindi naman sila magkaanak. But the Lord rewarded your dreams. The Lord is a person that with you and He said, I know, you will get something, you will get something. This is the intention. Have you have you asked me as a mother? I asked the Lord, what's the intention of your Lord when I'm a mother? So, asan ba? Ito ko talaga sa amin ako sa... No, this... First of all, kami ni Laura. Tapos, ano ba yun? Pero sabi niya, di ba, ang intention ng Lord, ang intention talaga ng Lord, sabi niya, makikita mo sa verse 3, is a heritage. Ano ba yung heritage? You have to pass it on. Your responsibility as a parent, no, is to train the child to know the Lord. Imagine the world without God. Imagine your child without the Lord. So, magiging hindi masaya ang buhay ng iyong anak. So, it's your responsibility. At saka, bakit ba sinabi sa verse 4 na like an arrow in the hand of a mighty warrior? Bakit hinahalit ko yung tulad ng, ng, ng Diyos? Sabi, ng, sabi ni Sulawan, bakit hinahalit yung tulad niya ang mga anak natin na katulad ng hand of a warrior? Bakit niya ba yung nahalin tulad yung mga anak? Ang mga anak kasi natin, the, the, the arrows is fashion or to what used to aim. No? Ini-aim siya, tapos ni-re-release. Because our children is not meant to be kept. One day they will grow. One day they will be released. But before we release, we have to train them. We have to train them so that ready sila sa world. The world is so cruel, Laura. And be ready with it because it's your responsibility as a parent. Mahaba, no? <laughs> wow. Know that the intention of the Lord is you have to pass it on the God's word to your children. And you will be successful in everything, Laura. Wow.
Sapinya taman na. Okay. Hey.